Welcome to Dating Advice for Men Who Love Women. I'm Jim Wolf. So should you feel like a failure when it doesn't work out with a woman? Now listen, when you get up the nerve to go talk to a woman and she doesn't want to talk to you, or you get her number and then she doesn't text you back, or you've been texting her for a while and then she stops texting you, or you go out with her a couple of times and then she stops going out with you, or you get into a relationship with her and then she cheats on you, or she breaks up with you, or when a woman divorces you after 40 years of marriage, of course all of those things don't feel very good. And of course we're going to feel something when those things happen, because we're not robots. So yeah, when it doesn't work out with a woman, it doesn't feel good. But should you feel like you are a failure? That's a completely different question, and that's what this presentation is about. Now, a couple weeks ago, one of my really good friends told me that he feels like a failure because of his recent breakup. So this one is personal for me. And here's the interesting thing about his situation. He's actually the one that broke up with his girlfriend. So he's the one that did the breaking up, and yet he still feels like he's a failure. And so that's what I want to talk about in this presentation. When it doesn't work out with a woman for some reason or another, should you feel like you are a failure or a failure with women in general? And here's what I wanted to tell my friend. Whenever it doesn't work out with a woman, it's almost always for one of three main reasons. And that's what we're going to talk about right now. And then we're going to break down whether or not you should feel like a failure for each of the three main reasons why it doesn't work out with a woman. So the first reason why it doesn't work out with a woman is that she was never actually interested in you in the first place. If you are trying to date a woman who's just not interested in you, or she's not available because she already has a boyfriend or husband, or she lives too far away, etc., then there is nothing that you can do to make her like you. There's nothing that you can do to raise her interest. If there's nothing there to begin with, it's impossible to make her interested in you. And if you can't actually do anything about that, how can you possibly be a failure when it doesn't work out with her? So if a woman's just not interested in you and you get the courage up to go over and talk to her and then she doesn't want to talk to you when you go over there or she doesn't give you her number or she gives you her number and then never responds or never goes out with you, that doesn't make you a failure. She's just not interested in you. If you feel like a failure in that situation, that would be like if you decided to run and jump off of a cliff with no parachute, no wingsuit, no nothing, and you just jumped off the cliff and then you felt like a failure when you hit the ground. If you try to do something that's literally impossible and then it doesn't happen, that doesn't make you a failure because there was nothing that you could do. So in that situation, I would encourage you to be proud of yourself for taking action. So be proud of yourself for going over there and saying hi to her, even if she doesn't want to talk to you. You took that action. That's what you can control. That's what makes you a success or not, is that you took action, not the outcome of that action, which you have no control over. So be proud of yourself that you went over there and talked to her, or that you asked her for her number, or that you asked her out on a date. Be proud of yourself for taking that action. Because again, if it doesn't work out with a woman because she's just not interested in you, or she's not available, then of course you're not a failure in that situation, because there was nothing that you could have done to change it. And then the second reason why it doesn't work out with a woman is if she just doesn't have the qualities that are required for you to have a good relationship with her. When you zoom out and start thinking about this a little bit more, it becomes obvious, but so many guys just forget that a relationship involves two people. It's not like this perfect woman up there on a pedestal and you're trying everything you can to have a relationship with her. It's two people doing it together. And if she doesn't have certain qualities that allow you to have the kind of relationship with her that you want, it's not going to work out with her. And there's nothing that you can do about it. Because you can't change her and you can't control her. 
only she can decide to change herself. And if she doesn't have the qualities necessary for a good relationship as she is right now, there is nothing that you can do about that. And so if you choose to be with a woman who doesn't have the necessary requirements for a good relationship, then it's not your fault if it doesn't work out. And there's nothing that you can do about it. You can't make really delicious wine without really good grapes. You have to have something to work with. And if she doesn't have enough to work with, then there's nothing you can do about that. So of course, you're also not a failure when it doesn't work out if you just chose the wrong woman for you. And by the way, there's another presentation on this channel that shows you what to look for in a woman so you can start looking for those qualities that she needs to have for you to have a good relationship with her so that you can start looking for those qualities in the women that you're dating and make a good choice. Because again, if you choose the wrong woman for you, then there's nothing that you can do about it and it's not going to work out. But again, that doesn't mean that you are a failure. If there is nothing that you can do to change that situation, except for ending your relationship with her and moving on to a new woman who does have the qualities that you need to have a good relationship with her, then you can't possibly be a failure because you couldn't do anything about it. So in these first two situations, if a woman's just not interested in you or she's not available or she doesn't have the qualities that are necessary for a good relationship, there is nothing that you could have done to make it work out. So. That means that when it doesn't work out, you are absolutely not a failure. However, this third reason is a little different. The third reason why things don't work out with a woman is that you made mistakes. So sometimes something that you do or some things that you do is the reason why it doesn't work out with a woman. This case is the hardest one to explain why you're still not a failure, so bear with me. Now, as you're living your life, including your dating life, you can do it through one of two major mindsets. The first one is called a fixed mindset. And if you have a fixed mindset, you will feel like a failure every time you make any kind of mistake. Because you think that you're set in stone and that everything is fixed, you are who you are and that's it. That's a fixed mindset. On the other hand, you can also approach life and dating with a growth mindset. And when you have a growth mindset, you realize that failure only happens when you don't continue to take action or when you stop learning and growing. You understand that there's no such thing as failure and only learning exists. So because you have a growth mindset, there's no such thing as failure unless you stop taking action and you stop learning from your mistakes. That's the only thing that can make you a failure if you have a growth mindset. So in a case like this where you made some mistakes, maybe you texted her too much. Maybe you got way too serious way too soon. Maybe you took her for granted and stopped appreciating her after you got into a relationship with her. If you don't demonstrate the four attractive male qualities that raise her interest in the beginning stages of dating, and then you don't consistently give her the four things that maintain her high interest in you once you're in a relationship with her, then that's a specific dating and relationship mistake that you made. And of course, those mistakes can easily make it not work out with a woman. However, when you make a mistake like that, that causes it not to work out with a woman, I still don't think that you should feel like a failure in general. Instead, I think that you should learn from your mistakes so that you don't repeat them again and then keep taking action so that you can be successful over the long term. So I encourage you to zoom out from individual situations a little bit and look at the big picture of your life. What we want is for you to be consistently more successful over the long term. So even if it doesn't work out with one particular woman, we want it to work out well for you with women in general. So maybe you have to make a few mistakes at first. Maybe you have to start dating a few different women, make some mistakes with them until you get to the right woman for you and you get it down and it does work out with her. 
So what we want is for it to eventually work out with the right woman for you. And the only way that can happen is if you keep taking action. And if you decide that you're a failure after it doesn't work out with one woman, that's going to stop you from taking action again. And you're going to feel bad about yourself for no reason. That's going to be a pointless pity party. And that pointless pity party is going to stop you from introducing yourself to the next awesome woman that you meet or from asking her out, etc. And so feeling like a failure doesn't serve you or anyone else. Instead, adopt a growth mindset and keep taking action so you can be successful over the long term. You can't control the past and you can't control a woman. But what you can control is what you do starting right now. So let the past go, learn from your mistakes if you've made some, and then move forward. Because that's what's going to make you successful. And you are a successful guy. You're not a failure. And if you want to eliminate more mistakes faster, go grab our best-selling Attract and Keep Her system right now. Inside the Attract and Keep Her system, you'll discover exactly what to do step-by-step step, to make a woman fall and stay deeply in love with you. So go to attractandkeepher.com slash system. That's attractandkeepher.com slash system to get your copy right now. And we also have some free gifts for you as a thank you for checking out this presentation. We have some advanced free training for you, and you can get it by going to datingadviceformenwholovewomen.com. That's datingadviceformenwholovewomen.com. I'm Jim Wolf for Dating Advice for Men Who Love Women, and I'll talk to you later.